everyone, this is Jason at Source Graphics, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Ultimaker Metal Expansion Kit and everything you need to know. Okay, so first up, let's talk about what actually comes in the Ultimaker Metal Expansion Kit. Uh, first off, you have your BASF Ultra Fuse. It's one kilogram of the 17.4PH. Now, this is a stainless steel uh, metal filament that you will be able to use in the Ultimaker. Uh, next, you also have the CC 0.4 print core nozzle for uh, using in the Ultimaker. This is necessary because it is an abrasive material, so you do need that CC print core for that. You also have a cleaning filament for cleaning your print core between prints, uh, as well as nozzles, replacement nozzle covers, as well as the Magigoo metal adhesive for your print bed. So this is something that you're gonna be putting on your print bed, the glass build plate before uh, starting a print. It helps the material to adhere so you get a really nice first layer adhesion. You also get this really nice tray. This is a glue release tray. And so this is actually used after a print is finished on the uh, build plate on the Ultimaker S5. What you do is you're gonna take your build plate and uh, actually put it into this with some water that's already inside of the tray. And what that does is it helps to release the Magigoo that is helping the part to adhere and it'll help release it so that way you can take your part out because without it, it can be a little difficult. So a few other things that the kit comes with that are not on display here include a, a course on the Ultimaker Academy that is all about 3D printing with metal. So if it's your first time using metal or uh, 3D printing metal, then uh, that's a great course to really get started with. Uh, another thing that it comes with is the debinding and sintering ticket that you will need to actually take your part and send out to get turned from the green part that comes off of the printer into an actual metal part. All right, now let's talk about printer compatibility. The metal expansion kit is really meant to be used with the Ultimaker S5 exclusively. So if you have an S3 or a 2 Plus connector or any of the older Ultimakers, that's not really what this uh, material is designed to be used for. It's optimized to be used with the Ultimaker S5. So if you have an Ultimaker S5, you're good to go. Okay, so I mentioned debinding and centering, and you're probably wondering, what is that? Well, if you uh, take your part off of the Ultimaker S5, once you've finished printing with the 17.4PH, you don't actually have your full metal part yet. You have what's called a green part. So it looks a little like this. It's a dark gray uh, color, and it still actually has a lot of the plastic that is used as a carrier in the 3D printing process. And so what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna send this out to get debinded and sintered. And what that process does is it actually removes that plastic from the part, and once it is full and complete, you are left with your metal part. That is full metal. All right, now looking at these two parts, the green part and the final metal part, you might notice that there is shrinkage in that. And you probably are asking yourself, do I have to keep that in mind when I'm designing my part? Do I have to scale it up in Ultimaker Cura? Is there any extra work that I have to do? Thankfully, no, you don't. In Ultimaker Cura, uh, it will actually compensate for that shrinkage and it will make the green part to shrink down into the actual CAD model that you created. So nothing extra that you really need to do. So there you have it. This was a general overview of the Ultimaker Metal Expansion Kit. Honestly, we could talk about this for an hour or two hours. I mean, there are courses on this stuff. Um, I mean, if you guys want that hour long video, let us know in the comments below. Maybe we'll make it. Uh, but if you have any questions, we love talking with you folks. So visit our website, send us an email or follow us on all of our social platforms and make sure to like that, like the video down below, subscribe, please subscribe because that lets us know that people actually wanna see these videos. So, uh, and if you have any questions, like I said, reach out to us. Until then, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Oh, look it. You also get a quick start guide. <laughs>